Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I've come to share a design team project for pop stock images on Etsy. And um, I don't know if I'm like a guest design team member or if it's, um, not sure what's going on with that. But um, she said that, you know, I'm going to do, like, you know, a small, quick project to um, show off her newest kit that she just came out with. Um, and it is a Alice in, Wonderly uh, Alice in Wonderland themed um, digital journal kit. And uh, let me see if I can... I used pretty much all of the kit. I even used like the journal pages, like here's some of them. So it is a super pretty kit. And it has tons of ephemera um, and little things that you can cut out, which was so fun to do. So I made a loaded bag, and I made this bag. I didn't use a paper bag or anything. I um, constructed it out of black cardstock, and at first, that's the first time I've ever uh, made one of these. Um, I made a few out of like some paper bags, um, but never actually made one. I actually saw a loaded bag on YouTube, and I was a Wonder Theme one. By Karen Tremblay. Oh my gosh. It was amazing, amazing. So I got my inspiration from her for this. Um, I had a lot of the same dyes that she used. So I used those as well. But mostly I just used the kit. Um, I only used like one small piece of scrapbook paper. That was it. But anyways, let's get started. Um... Okay, I use, alright, I'll just do the inside first and then show you this stuff right here. So this, all this is attached by a um, garment pin with an eyelet. I was going to put it through the eyelet, but um, it wouldn't, it was like sticking straight out. So I um, used some twine to attach it that way. It's got this little tag that says drink me. That's from the kit. And a piece of lace. Um, little clock charm here. A button. And an altered key that I did. So that's that. And on this pocket right here, um, I cut out this. Um, Fussy cut out this butterfly. Everything that I cut out. Um, from the kit, um, I fussy cut. I don't have like a machine that does that or anything. Um, if you did, it would be a lot faster. But if you don't, these, all the ephemera pieces in here were pretty easy to cut out. Which I really liked. So, it has this little cute butterfly. And then this sign right here says that way. And I used, um, a, uh clock die not sure who that's by. I think it's spellbinders and then um, some red thread I used the paper from the kit one of the pages and I sewed around um, with my sewing machine and I also put um, gold ribbon buff around all the um, edges of the black cardstock and I edge punched this put some bling right there so we'll start with these tags. These tags, these little tags here are in the kit. Um, these are a separate purchase. You get a lot in the journal kit, but um, if you want, you get like a whole page of these little tags. That is a separate purchase. They go with the kit, but they're just, they're a separate purchase. They're like an add-on. So that's those. And I just put some twine and um, eyelash trim. On those 
here is a journaling card from the kit it has a full sheet of little journaling cards and these are actually the journal pages just shunk down into journaling cards which is awesome because usually you know you have to do that yourself on your computer if you want to turn any of the pages themselves into journaling cards which was really creative i thought I love, love, love her style. It is like totally thinking out of the box. So this one says she began to realize that very new things are indeed impossible. And all of them have like words on them and say stuff. I really like that. So that's that one. Then it has this journaling card. Keep calm and off with their heads. <laughs> I just inked all the backs of them comes with a little file folder which is super cute and I made a little paper sorry my son is out here and he's really cranky he gets mad when he can't figure out how to put his blocks together or whatever toy he's messing with there's fits about it so sorry if you hear him um, this is just a little rosette paper clip and they put a little glittered circle on the back and a glittered heart for like, um, you know, queen of hearts or whatever with some fibers. This one says, do you suppose she's a wildflower? It has flowers. That's cute. And this is also from the kit. Um, my hubby actually, I think, cut this one out. Yeah. <laughs> you got to couple of them out for me I think he did a pretty good job so uh, Mad Hatter Brewing Go it's cute so this is what it looks like um, this paper I love this one with the wood grain and the clocks okay so in the top of the bag, I'll just do the wand first. I made a wand. And um, what I did was, you know, I did the rosette out of black cardstock, punched the edges, put a glittered, um, punched out a glittered circle, put that down. And this clock right here is a stamp from Prima. I just stamped it and uh, cut that out. And, uh, oh, and under that is, uh, this die. It's a Tim Holtz die. And I put gold ribbon buff on it. And uh, just a little glittered Martha Stewart butterfly with a bling. And then this guy was on one of the journal pages. I just fussy cut him out and put him on there. And I have fibers behind all of it. So I love, love, love the way this came out. And then this tag right here, the tag or the kit comes with pockets. So this is one of the pockets. I cut this out of one of the journal pages also. Uh, another stamp, um, another die, uh, actually that same die. And inside, is a tag that goes in the pocket and uh, it says twinkle twinkle little bat how I wonder where you're at and that tag says eat me just got some twine on that one and um, I just taught I stamped it's time and I put some punch some butterflies on black cardstock and put some gold ribbon buff with some satin ribbon and fibers did that on the other side and I stamped a little teapot and I actually sewed around punched uh, the top two corners and this is like a little goodie for the recipient I don't know who I'm gonna send this to but <laughs> whoever is gonna get this and uh, I just thought this was such a neat idea to send some bling I uh, just ad adhered, it's on the acetate, the original acetate, it came as in the packaging. 
I just adhered it to the paper with um, my ATG so she can uh, pull that off if she wants or she could just use it, you know, store it in her stash as is. thought that was super cute and the background paper is from the kit as is the tab. And the kit did come with tabs, I just, they were just too long to use on this so I punched that out. And here is an envelope I made. And here is a little clothes pin. And I just did hear this on there. And, and this envelope is just a bunch of cutouts from the kit. Which I will show you because they are super cute. It has a keyhole. Crown, um, little pocket watch thing. Um, some of these, there's like multiples of when you print it out. So there's like a blue one of this. And there's two of these as well. Love these. And uh, here's the tabs. I cut one out that I was going to use and then I didn't end up using it. And then it has these super cute little tiny bottles that say drink me. Another tab, a puzzle piece, another drink me tag, and some more of these little signs. So, I'm including all of those for the recipient. And the last thing in the top is another, it's a larger tag that I um, altered while I made it. Um, did the same thing, punched it, topped it, my little tag toppers, put some trim on the side. This um, is scrapbook paper that did not come with the kit. This uh, torn piece there. And I cut this out of one of the journal pages. Punched a heart and some red thread. And this, what, this thing right here was on one of the journal pages that I just cut out. It says, no, no, adventures first. Explanations take such dreadful time. Thought that was cute. And then the back, I just stamped um, a crown and the back I, I love the back <gasps> isn't it so cute so I turned it into an envelope and I sewed all the way my um, sewing machine was not liking this thread very much this thread was like it's like really thick and um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong oh well um, so yeah sewed it it says it's always tea time and I put a little teapot at the end of uh, this string here and I just punched all I had was one inch circle punch so that's what I use punch it out of glitter cardstock use some eyelets and I lined the inside with that um, same scrapbook paper and that's the only scrapbook paper I used and this is from the kit one of the journal pages as is this. Isn't that so pretty? Love this kit. It says, who's been painting my roses red? <laughs> and inside I've got some stuff. Um, right here, a little paper clip that's a key. And this is just um, some tags from the kit and some more of those journaling cards. So this is a shrunk down journal page. So is this, this, and this, this one. See, they look pretty much <clears throat> exactly the same. Just little journaling cards. And this one. Oh, my fussy ears and whiskers. Look how late it's getting. <laughs> so that's those. And I still have leftover. I still have all these. 
and I didn't print anything out more than once. I mean, look how much you get. It's such a great deal. And I think she is having some sales right now. So you guys definitely need to check her out. You will not be disappointed. It is worth a look. Um, and here, um, this is just a little envelope that I had a pack of from Hobby Lobby. I just stamped, inked it and stamped it with the, um, the clocks, the crown. And inside I have, um, some of these dies, some punch outs from the glitter, and, um, I've got some of those butterflies and other shapes that I've put gold rub and buff on. And there is also one thing I'm forgetting. Aha. And I've put um, some of these in there too. So, the recipient can use all of this in a journal or whatever project they shall choose to use it so that is my um little design team project for pop stock you guys please please go check it out oh my gosh she has so many beautiful kits as soon as i saw her shop i knew i wanted to work with her kits and um she's giving me like a test run right now so <laughs> in order to determine whether i'm going to you know be on the design team or not i guess but I had so much fun working on this. This took me like three days, three or four days to do. Just because I, I have kids, I can't just sit and craft all day long. So, but um, I hope you guys liked what I made. Love it. And um, don't um, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description box. So. Please go check those out, and if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to do that. Um, I would super appreciate it. And I have a super cool project to share with you guys in my next video. Um, and also, I got onto another design team. It's Calico Collage. So I'm super excited for that one too. But... Definitely, 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 definitely have to check out Pop Stock. It's her kits are just beautiful. I, I like, I cannot stress that enough. So, go take a look and see if you know there's anything you like. And so that covers everything. Um, Tracy, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, hope you like everyone. You and everyone likes what I created. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.